guys, it seems like y'all favorite couple, Krishan Rock and Blueface, have broken up again. And as usual, he starts hitting below the belt, insulting her, calling her all kinds of names, telling her how double standard it would be after he just got caught in the bed with another woman and she put him out there with his tattoos and all matching up to be him. And now because guys approach Krishan Rock and things like that and come up to her and be in her DMs, he wants to get mad and then he claims she didn't do anything for his birthday and that he's not going to do anything for hers in a few days and he just kept tweeting out this disrespect for stuff like he says n-word don't care nothing about no how no booth be feel laugh my a all take that take that laughing crying emoji then he says the truth hurts for real then he turns around and says she pregnant missing a tooth with seven tats finna make a fool of herself with the next n-word and i'm not pregnant at all i'm finna live my life perfectly fine with the next be who gonna take me even more serious now it's really tragic for real you in Dubai and we beefing and you tweeting and I'm pregnant and I turned 23 in a couple of days and oh my god I could go down a list of shit what are we beefing for again are you good Dubai ain't fun Are we ever gonna be like cool? Like, are we ever gonna like be cool? It's again. This is not beef. Like, it's a beef after a beef after a beef. I don't got enough beef in me, my nigga. I'm about to go vegan. And so as y'all can see in Christian Rock's response, basically he's beefing with himself for whatever reason it is because she doesn't have a clue what he's talking about or why he's even going on and on, especially after you just got caught. And so to add insult to injury, he wants to give his baby mama props for how she told him that she was pregnant. It don't matter how you're told, long as you're told. Because it's a lot of men that didn't even get told that they may be a father and things like that. And then a child show up on their door years later. Right here. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see the difference from my first baby mama, right? She told me, Mitch gave me the, the pregnancy test for Christmas and a gift wrap. I'm excited. Yes, thank you. You're a real bitch. You can have all the kids. This bitch say she pregnant. Oh, no. We need paternity. We need, we need Maury. We need, now you feeling, now you feeling like damn when really it's, it's not. It's not that. It's really not that. You can't even be mad at it because you've been on some me too. Oh, man. I'm trying to help y'all. My first baby mama surprised me pregnancy test. I didn't know nothing. I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, you're a good mom. You ain't finna be weird with the kids and have no niggas around my kids. Amazing. Now, me too, bitch. They gonna question the side. I ain't like... Is that my baby? I'm still questioning. I hope y'all don't think I'm cool. Which bitch do you want to be, baby? Do you want to be the bitch where a nigga like, uh-uh, I need DNA tests first off before anything? Or you want to be the bitch where a nigga like, <gasps> Wow, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, which bitch you want to be? Which one you want to be? You need to make that decision early, cuz. Cuz once you start that Me Too shit, 
Once it's like, oh, you call me a bitch, I can call you a bitch too. Oh, you don't wash the dishes, so I don't got to wash the dishes. Oh, you don't. All right, now you on that. You, you lost. B minus already. They question the child. Now you looking crazy. I'm looking crazy. Oh, yeah. We gonna look crazy then, maybe. And as you can see, he mouths off and doesn't know how to handle anything. He's just that upset that Christian Rock is in the spotlight. That his jealousy just shows all around. And now that she's pregnant and she's not on here drunk and lushed up and trying to explain what happened and how she feels and things like that. He doesn't know how to act because right now she's just basically speaking and like trying to divert whatever he's going through off of her because she doesn't want the negativity her way, especially with her being pregnant. And so with that being said, you see all of his toxicity all around. He is so toxic, it's just unbelievable. Then he making the whole like, be public, like, can you stop tweeting? You're getting on my nerves, my nigga, like. Have you ever noticed what? when you're mean, when you're nice to female, they take advantage of you? Like, boy, have you ever noticed when another nigga gonna get your bitch dick? They get to acting like they can't in the first place? Like, bro, shut the fuck up. I could be saying some shit too, damn. Hola, and my entire life, I only knew one bitch that was loyal to me. Like, Ooh, like bro, how are you? Like, you gonna keep saying the same shit? Like, why are you not with that bitch? If I get out of my face with that shit, stop trying to beef with me. If I... Have you ever noticed? Like, all them tweets is corny, yo. And so as you can see, Christian Rocks wants him to just hush, be quiet, and enjoy his time in so-called Dubai where he's supposed to be. So you know when people saw this, they commented. One person had this to say. Crazy thing is he actually loves her. If you ever been in a toxic relationship, you know. The fact that she thinks he loves her is scary. And y'all in the comments agreeing that he loves her is even worse. That's not love. Love ain't toxic. I pray all of y'all, including her, gets to experience love. It's so peaceful and beautiful. This is why young kids today talk to women like they're nothing. You got her pregnant and you the reason she don't got her too. I say they do a more special to see who the father is. We already know who the baby daddy is. It's Blueface. When he was just on Mike Tyson's show and stuff, he admitted to being the father. He admitted to getting her pregnant. And now that they're on bad terms, he want to bring that up again. So I know said Blueface needs to stop before Christian whoop his A. Ain't nothing wrong with having seven tattoos as a mother. This is a layup for the Mars show. Bro had to specify he wasn't pregnant. Dead face. Shaking my head, he got pain behind the words. He is speaking to a woman, his woman, let them tell it. And now he's not claiming her. At least don't say anything if you have nothing good to say. I mean, honestly, they both tripping, but both sides are understandable. But he doesn't have to be so inconsiderate. But at the same time, I don't know what she does to him. So I guess it's not my place. I'm just flabbergasted by the words these young men choose to use and expect their children to grow up with compassion for the next just do better by the people that raised you well yeah there you have it folks those two at it again we know they'll be back together probably in the next few days or by next week but because they're going through it this is just crazy the things that he's saying and the way he's acting but hey we know them too and but what gets me is the fact that you keep telling her to get an abortion after she's pregnant and you know how far along she is that's just ridiculous and it's not gonna solve anything because that's not a birth control so guys tell me what you think about this entire situation down in the comments below guys and this is all i have for you right now at the moment subscribe to the channel for more updates give me a thumbs up share turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time i upload and i'll talk to you guys sooner than later